it's homecoming weekend here at the University of Montana. And in Missoula, that means one thing on a Saturday afternoon, college football. He's still on his feet, loose on the sidelines. He's going to go 30, 20, 10. Robbie Houck, the length of the field. Touchdown, oh Grizzlies. When I got the call, they said, well, you, you think about doing the Grizz games? I was like, I almost drove off the road. We were driving from Fort Benton to Haver for a wedding. <laughs> I looked at Judy and I went, they just asked me if I wanted to do the Grizz games. Are you serious? Yes, <laughs> right away, yes. The anticipation building here is this is, uh, as we've said, a must win for the Grizzlies. You know, I've been so fortunate in my career. I don't think I've ever really applied for a job. All the jobs have come and found me. The purpose of this display is to see if the use of energy can be controlled by switches. And as you can see, this young man has a lot of switches. If you've watched the local news anywhere across this great state at any time over the past 40 years, you undoubtedly know the name Jay Cohn. Since starting his career in Helena in 1976, Jay Cohn has become part of the fabric of journalism in Montana. Now at 70 years old, Jay is proving that it's never over till it's actually over. Yeah, I guess it's, uh, you know, the cherry on top of a career which I pretty much had put into the uh, record books. This is my cheat sheet. And back here I did all the, the background on almost all the players on the Grizz, learning about them. And, uh, and this is so I can refer to it in the game. There's a lot of work, but like I told you before, Brennan, it doesn't seem like work. It, it's just a labor of love. It's been exciting. I can honestly say he loves it. Uh, he um, always wanted to be in sports broadcasting. That was always his greatest love. I couldn't believe we couldn't stop their running attack in the last five and a half minutes of the game. I mean, it's totally him. He, it really, I, I know we keep saying it, but it was like his dream job. We have him third and 13. How many third and longs did we have him in this game? The man likes to talk. I do watch Jim Nance on CBS and, and like Joe Buck last night on Monday Night Football and just uh, admire how much, how little they do have to say. It was just, wow, this is, this is real. He's really doing this. This is heading into another new adventure. The weather is perfect. That first game, it was so great to have Judy here. It was very emotional for her. We were thinking about Melanie, still emotional. Yeah, Melanie was uh, diagnosed with cervical cancer, a very aggressive small cell cancer, and she fought it with the, all the courage and strength she had. She was a fiery young lady. Um, we just couldn't believe what that cancer did to her and how quickly it took her. 11 months and we lost her. Bill! We always felt Melanie, if anyone was gonna beat this, it was Mel. Um, didn't happen. And we think about her all the time. Melanie, the pretty, spunky little Butte High firecracker, was Jay and Judy's oldest. And like her dad, Melanie loved to talk. She was incredibly loyal and passionate, passionate about literally everything. She loved her family fiercely, especially her son, Caleb. And she was by far and away the biggest Grizz fan I'd ever met. The saddest thing that uh, when we got the news about the Grizz, we couldn't tell Melanie. The first thing out of my mouth was, I wish she was here to share this news with. Because <sighs> nobody would have been happier. Sorry. She was really proud of him and expressed that a lot. I looked at Judy and said, she knows, she's be been behind the whole thing. She was pulling all the strings to make this happen. Jay and Judy have spent the better part of their lives together, 44 years to be exact. And for most of that time, Mel was just down the road. Following in her father's footsteps, Melanie graduated from the University of Montana with a degree in broadcasting and worked side by side with her dad for 20 years. To say that Melanie was Jay's biggest fan, 
just doesn't do it justice. As seen in his retirement send-off in 2018, Melanie adored him. You know, he's, he's a great dad, he's a great grandfather, and he's a really great coworker. He is such a huge role model for me. I think Jay had a really strong feeling that one of the reasons that he was doing these games was because of her. She was all about Grizz football. The girl had a huge wardrobe that would have filled most closets with just Grizz gear. There's a big Grizz party going up, going on up in heaven, and she's leading the charge, but I feel her. There's no doubt Melanie uh, is here with us every time we're here. I feel it, and uh, I believe it. He's loose on the sidelines, 20-15-5. That's another touchdown for the Montana Grizzlies. I just feel so blessed that all of this could be possible. I'm still kind of shaking my head. I can't really believe it to this day.